Welcome to the video supplement for McGraw-Hill's medical simulation. Today we look at the scenario, I should have quit smoking, where our patient, George Marlborough, is feeling a shortness of breath. The objective for this simulation is to perform a venipuncture, and your goal should include performing a sterile phlebotomy. Along with the essential clinical skills, your instructors will be looking for washing your hands, wearing your gloves, and demonstrating a proper introduction to your patient including checking the patient name and birthday on the ID bracelet with that on the medical records. Now let's join our healthcare professional, Rebecca, and her student, Holly, as they simulate a venipuncture. Today's scenario, we're gonna be drawing blood. Let's go ahead and wash our hands with the alcohol sanitizer and put on our gloves. All right, Holly, this is where we need to confirm the patient's identity. We've got George Marlborough. He's 67 years old, and he's chief complaint that he's short of breath. Um, he has COPD, and um, go ahead and confirm the patient's identity with... Birth dates match with the armband and my medical records. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself to the patient and explain to him that you're going to be drawing blood. Okay. Hi, Mr. Marlboro. My name's Holly, and this is my instructor, Rebecca, and we are going to be drawing your blood today. Some of the tools that we need today are a tourniquet, vacutainer for the blood, and the needle and some alcohol, and some gauze, and some tape for when we're done drawing the blood. All right, Holly, today we're going to draw blood on George Marlborough, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do that for you. Go ahead and take the tourniquet. Apply the tourniquet three to four inches proximal to the selective side of the limb. I usually apply it to the upper arm because they usually have good veins about right here, but a lot of times you want to work lower and go higher, so we'll see what we can find. And usually I feel around, go ahead and take alcohol, and clean the site where you're going to be drawing blood from. All right, now we got our needle. This is the vacutainer holder, and this is the vacutainer where we're going to be collecting the blood from. Go ahead and set it right here. So you feel for the vein. Tell the patient that you're about to stick them. You kind of go in like a 45 degree angle, and then as soon as you get in there, go ahead and go back down. Okay. Okay. Grab your back container too. Stick it in. And we got the blood. See it? It's filling up. Mm -hmm. Wait till it stops. You shake it once or twice. Go ahead and get your gauze. Pull the tourniquet. Take out the needle. Secure it, grab your tape, and you want to make sure you put the needle in the sharps container. All right, we already have our hands clean and our gloves on, so we're ready to go. This is George Marlboro. He's 67 years old, and the birth dates match with the armband and my medical records. And he smoked two to three packs of cigarettes per day for 50 years and today he's feeling short of breath. Good. So we're ready to draw the blood and now I'm gonna introduce myself to the patient. Mr. Marlboro, my name's Holly and this is my instructor, Rebecca, and we're gonna draw some blood today. How are you feeling? I should have quit smoking. We're gonna take care of you today. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is apply the tourniquet to the upper arm. And you can go lower sometimes if you'd like. Okay. And do a quick release, not. that. Mm -hmm. Now I need to clean the site. Clean the vein with some alcohol swabs or you can okay. use chloroseptic. You got, did you find your vein yet? Uh, um, his best vein is up here. Yeah, that looks good. I have good. to go up there. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I need to put the it's a vacutainer, vacutainer holder. And now we're going to remove the cap, the needle. This is our vacutainer that we're going to put the blood in. Mm -hmm. And you can go ahead and set that down so you can use both your hands while okay. you're drawing the blood. And tell the patient before you stick them that you're about to stick them. Okay. Mr. Marlboro, you're just going to feel a little stick. And as soon as you get in there, bring, it, bring the needle down. All right. Good. Now I'm going to stick the vacutainer on. Good. You got the blood. Go ahead and take All right. It take it off. Good. Release the tourniquet. Release the tourniquet. 
your gauze right Get the there. gauze and put it on there. Mm -hmm. Take that out. I'm going to put the safety on the needle. Mm -hmm. And put tape. some tape over it. And put this in the needle. Sharps container. Okay, Holly, at this point, we're going to take the back container that we have the blood in and put the patient's label on it and then time and date it and initial it. Okay. And now we're going to take our gloves off and properly dispose of them and then wash our hands. Awesome job, Holly. I couldn't even get it on my first try. Go ahead and report your accomplishments and complete the student simulation worksheet. And that's how you do venipuncture on a layer doll simulator. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to your success in this demonstration. I'm Lauren Corbett from McGraw-Hills Medical Simulation Work Text.